right direction. Um, it's a huge turn turnaround since last year. Um, you know, with seeing Deb in there, that makes a tremendous, I want to say a tremendous um, step for natives, you know, because you just can't explain that history that was made. Um, Deb being from New Mexico and working with her, not only as a, as a, a congressional person, but working with her on a personal level in New Mexico and everything she's done, it's just a, it's just an awesome step to see that, um, you know, if I could um, say um, I've been in here almost 10 years and I've been working with, I want to say Obama to the Trump to now the Biden, but I see a big difference as far as staff, as far as caring for Indian country. I see a huge change and I, the people that they put in in DC were not native friendly. I believe they were there to kind of put their foot down on the natives. I truly believe. Yeah. And this is refreshing, right? This is what you, what you've been waiting for. I've been waiting for this for a long time, you know, and this American rescue plan really opened it up for tribes where we can um, actually help ourselves. Just closing eight months during the pandemic hurt everybody hurt us. You know, I, I realize how much an impact every person, every one of our employees plays and what our, our tribe plays. Yeah, and, and all tribal, uh, you know, they had a lot of the elders died because of the virus. That That's a big thing, right? You guys saw some of that too, right? Yes, we had about 25 deaths. And, um, you know, myself being the leader and the chairman, I went to every, almost every funeral. And some funerals were a lot sadder because... Um, you know, at the time, I think we lost seven people in like four days last wow. year. So people didn't get a chance to grieve, you know, and as natives, we, we like to see each other and say good. There's no word in Apache for goodbye. You just say, I'll see you again, you know, but, but, but just going there, like you said, um, we lost many fluid speakers. Our tribe lost five medicine men, you know, it, it it's a real big loss. And I still being there with the parents and the families, I couldn't, explain why coronavirus happened or why COVID happened because, you know, I don't know if, if this wouldn't have happened, would they still be here today? Some are close friends and some are family. Yeah, it was very, very tough. How are you guys doing now with the virus up there? We're, we're, we're doing good. We're staying steady. Um, I would not lie. We're having some breakthrough cases where people are positive and they're still, um, they are vaccinated, but they are positive. It's not too many, but it's it's happening. I'm still having a little problem. I want to say 72% of our tribe is vaccinated, but there's still some that are uncertain about the vaccine. And, you know, our numbers fluctuate. They go up and down. Like we might hold fast, maybe around 30, 30 positives. But um, we also count tribal members that do not live on a reservation that live in Albuquerque or you know, Arizona or wherever, we, we count them when they get their nut, their name through IHS. Yeah, it, it, it's sad all that happened, but I'm glad that you've gotten it under, under control. Chairman, what are some of the things moving forward here that you would like to see tweaked out and changed and, you know, progress forward as it pertains to Native nations and specifically to your tribe in your area? Aren't working right now. Our, our our casino usually has about thirteen hundred and fifty employees. Thirteen hundred and fifty employees right about this time, but as of right now, we might have eight hundred. Mm -hmm. You know, so we're we're struggling to keep our resort open to full capacity. You know, and people are on unemployment. One of the biggest changes is we need to take the unemployment. You know, I, I know it helps, but it's really hurting. It's hurting because people would rather be home and get a check instead of working, you know, and, and we see it in our community. I see it across communities. I see uh, tribes giving $1,000 sign on bonuses to start working for um, housekeeping or front, front, front line, you know, so I'd like to see us uh, do a recovery. But um, if you, if you really ask me, I'd like to do something for mental health. Mm -hmm. So as natives, um, you locked us up. I mean, not us. Well, I locked it up. I, I locked down the reservation, but the governor said, hey, we're shutting down. We're shutting down schools. We're doing this. So we complied, but we um, 
we, we blocked all the rent uh, all the entrances on our reservation so um when we did that um people were at home for two weeks at a time they could only leave for four hours one day to get food and water and whatever they need and we set different times but um people's minds started going crazy you know it's like being in jail or prison yeah, i don't want to agree with you yeah like going to social media it started just being disgruntled and they started just just this thing where as the natives that's love my neighbor love everybody we, we were losing that you know and i think we just need to come together as tribes and respect respect one another again and the biggest thing i didn't appreciate last year when i was we were trying to lead the pandemic is you had a president tweeting bad things and causing commotion for myself i don't know if you've seen it you know but um i had to banish the chairman of the cowboys for trump off the mescalero apache reservation he came on our reservation and started trouble and started like a little rally and they were just talking bad about our people mocking our tradition and cultures and things like that happened where people were disgruntled and they thought that by bringing them was going to change our minds and safety but it did it wow that i did not know that that's that's pretty bad yeah that's not not a good situation yeah how are things how are things going with the casino the casinos we're, we're actually doing good you know we're actually doing good um for for a minute we were with um you know when the vaccines came our our employees responded to the vaccine they were getting a huge huge numbers taking the vaccine but <laughs> as, excuse me let's keep good yeah thank but, you but as as it comes, you know, and um, our cases start to rise a little bit, we have to put a mask back on employees, you know. But we're trying to we're trying to move forward, you know. We're trying to um, we're trying to give a a piece of Indian country and give them some entertainment that uh, has been missed, you know. Because you know, I, when I when I see people and guests, they said we just want to be out. We want to come to your casino, your resort, in the mountain gods. And we want to just fish or we want to just sit by the lake or we want to play we want to gamble you know and um i could say we've been blessed you know and that we've had customers because um we are a destination resort and people have to want to come see us we're in a little town by Redoso or tolerosa almogordo we're in a we're in a, we're in a small area yeah and and i think that you know as time goes on and like you said, some of the uh, the unemployment uh, benefits run out, and uh, hopefully all this this stuff will will you know sort itself out, so to speak. In the meantime, we're still grappling with some of these issues, and they're still grappling with the coronavirus, and that's going to take a little bit of time. But you know, the nations are resilient, they're they're passionate, and uh, we're going to get through all this stuff, uh, you know, and, and make it through and, and come out on top. Chairman, it's been a pleasure to talk to you. Really appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to having you back on. Um, thank you for inviting us, taking the time. Um, the Mescalero Apache Tribe, um, one day um, we like to bring our culture and sing. You know, I've been asked, so maybe we can share that with you one day. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, we'd love to see that. That's a very good idea. Thank you so much, Sharon. Thank you very much. I appreciate you.